Today on the bench, we're gonna look at putting a Limb Saver AirTech Advanced Recoil Reduction System onto a Stoger STF 3000. This is my son's 20 gauge. I'm gonna get a mat laid out. We'll go ahead and take the gun apart. So this is my son's STF 3000 Stoger and trying to find a limb saver for it. Limb saver don't have a chart stating that the STF 3000 has one that fits it. But one thing that they do have is a template guide. So if we do the print actual size on the template guide, we actually uh, get some pretty good templates. So by taking the, uh, taking the original butt off the gun and drawing a template, we was able to line up and the AirTech 10816 was a really good fit. We're just going to have to redrill one hole, but the dimensions of it look really good. Let's see if this will show up a little better. That's a little bright. Let me try the dimmer setting. Oh, that's modulated. <laughs> we go back. We go back to the bright. So we can line this up on here. Just an example of uh of how close it was from the uh, the drop out butt of the gun that I done before I ordered it. That just shows how good it lines up with the uh, the 10816 or 10601. So this is the one that we chose. It says it fits a Winchester and a Mossberg, but the sizing looks good. Oh, but the one hole we got to drill into the stock. They did a really good job on their templates. We'll take this one off and see what it looks like. All right, Eli, come look at it. What do you think? That looks really nice. Pretty, pretty good, ain't it? We can see they just didn't match up right there on that bottom one. Put this down here for contrast. Really close fit. Original screws are gonna work it looks like. Put this one in. We got a little bit of wiggle room here. Back with some transfer punches. Transfer punch on here. Got it lined up. Give it a center mark. There's our mark. Right there at that two. You can see that or not. 
got a drill right there. bit bigger. That's a good size. There we go. Pretty good fit. It could have been just a little bit wider, but it's still pretty close. The length though, it's really good. What do you think, Eli? It's nice. Then we're gonna take it out to the range and try it out. We're gonna try the gun out. Oh. How'd that do, Eli? That was pretty good. How's the kick? Not bad at all. Did it help a lot? Yes. Awesome. Back from the range today. The gun performed very well. Eli said he really liked how the Limb Saver AirTech recoil reduction system worked. It is really soft. We did a double shot out of the gun twice. Uh, one time we, we actually recorded it so you can see it on camera. Both times it done well. The only reason I was wanting to really uh, double check that was just in case since it's inertia driven. This is not a selectable trigger. It always shoots the bottom first and then the top. And sometimes that inertia driven pin can give some issues. So the gun was all cleaned up, had the new recoil pad. So I just wanted to make sure it didn't affect the inertia reloading of that firing pin for the second or top barrel. So all in all, the day it performed well. This is just a real popular youth gun. It does keep pretty good. So um, we actually shot three boxes or three rounds of trap with it today. And uh, Eli said it did really good. It didn't hurt his shoulder. He didn't really complain about it before, but just thought it'd be a lot better on that bruising on the arm to give it a little bit of cushion just to help out with um, shooting three rounds at a time. So just thought if you had a similar gun or a youth with a similar gun, it might help to know that you can get a recoil pad to fit very well. Just one whole drill, not a big deal. Easy to do just in a few minutes. Help reduce the recoil quite a good bit. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.